I mean, it's the story of a, of a woman who is a, an extraordinary barrister. To get to where she has, she's had to uh, work really hard. She's worked working class background uh, in, a, in an industry, you know, dominated by middle and upper class people. And so she had to fight her way there. And she, part of her journey or her job is to defend men in sexual assault cases, which is a common thing at the moment and it has been for a long time. And, um, and she's very, she finds herself very good at it. And I think that's where we start with her. And then of course something happens to her in which it's sort of, uh, I like them to a slow moving train coming towards you, crashing, which is that you suddenly realize she's ahead of, she knows what's going to happen because of what happens to her, because she knows the law so well. Susie's writing, particularly in the first half, is so joyous and so it just got a real wit, a sense of humor. And Joni has such a sort of comedic sense. So we, it, it's probably one of the nicest, if not the nicest room I've ever been in. And surrounded by an amazing group of people um, who I think, my big thing at the moment is to, is to work with people who, um, who I love and who love me. I talk about, in that room I talk about a group of silly friends that we were all silly and we were hanging around together. One of the big reasons that Susie wrote the play was that she had been a barrister and she felt she wasn't affecting change within the legal system. That she could, through playwriting and theatre, have a more effective way of being in conversation with the world and, to her mind, changing the world. And so when we started putting the play together, James got in contact with this amazing charity, the head of which was Kate Parker. And uh, they're called the Schools Consent Project. And uh, we, we had a big stew of them when we were doing we did some work with barristers. Um, we spent a lot of time in the Old Bailey and also in Kate's chamber, chambers. And, um, and she had a similar journey to Susie, which is she's a barrister who, who has defended men in sexual assault cases and wanted to find a way to balance that. Um, and so, and, and understands that though everybody deserves, you know, um, representation, so does believe in the legal sense of that, um, but needed to sort of find a balance. And so she started this amazing charity called Schools Consent Project that felt to us like it was one of the most important things that the future um, next generation had. And I, and I, you know, I do honestly believe that if my generation had had that experience at school, being taught the logistics of what consent is and what the law is, um, then I think that we'd be in a different world now. I'm constantly surprised by the ability of theatre to make change. And it, it, was always, it always felt like a naive thing to say that we can change things through theatre. And we talk about this word, we say what's necessary, you know, theatre that's necessary, theatre that we need. And then every now and again a play comes along that does that and you, and you really feel the power of it. Um, and also I suppose what's important for me is it does that but in an entertaining way.